Okay, I got disconnected. So sorry. I think uh, I think there are a few people who were on, and I lost you. And I lost you. So hopefully you'll jump back on. So I am going to wait a few minutes to get folks on the um, on before I get started. Hey, Craig. Thank you for joining. Thanks for doing it. Hey, Chris. Okay, I saw y'all, you both were on before, so thanks for uh, jumping back on. Thanks for jumping back on. And I'm going to wait uh, just a few more minutes to see if anybody else jumps on. So, Chris, are you in LA or Memphis right now? Uh, are you guessing if that's the question, if I'm single? Nope, that's not the question I get asked the most, <laughs> thankfully. Cool, 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 cool. So hang with me for a second. I think this will be some good information. I know it's some good information. Uh, it's just a question of who it may pertain to the most. So thanks for hanging with me. But the question I get asked the, the most All right, I'm going to just jump right in, and whoever joins later can join. Um, and y'all bear with me because this is my first time doing a Facebook Live video from my laptop. I normally do it from my phone, so it's just a little bit different. So uh, just bear with me. Hey, 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 I'm good. So thank you all for joining. Um, like I said, I'm going to just jump right in. So the question that I get asked the most. Any any guesses other than what you said, Chris? <laughs> any guesses? The question I get asked the absolute most. Since I was um, 15, since I was 15 years old and I had my son in high school, um, everybody, and it was, uh, it kind of got on my nerves at first, but then it began to be a true compliment. But I didn't know how to answer the question at the time. Hey, Zwan. Hey, Sharon. I didn't know how to answer the question at the time. So people would would see me with my son uh, in high school, and they would see me with my son on, in college, and then they would see the things that I was doing and things that I was accomplishing. Question is, Yes, he really is that amazing. But the question that I would get asked, and I'll, I'll go ahead and make this short so that um, I'm respectful of your time because time is very, very important to me. The question that I get asked the most, like I said, since I was 15 years old, the question I get asked almost every single day is how did I do it? Or how do I do it? And it is different for, for everybody. So on this um, on this call or on this uh, Facebook Live video, I want to talk about the things that I have done and how I did them and how you can help, how you can do them too. I am in a unique place in my life right now where I have time to talk about it because before, when people would ask me how did I do it, my answer was I don't have time to think about it really, and I definitely don't have time to talk about it. All I have time to do is do it. But now, I, like I said, in a unique place in my life where I do have time to talk about it. And I'm excited because what I want to do right now with my life is to help other people to do all the things that I've done and more, whatever it is that they want to do, because I do believe that people can achieve and have anything that they want in life. People just often don't know how. And so I've been blessed and I've been able to do a lot of things that people thought I couldn't do, and uh, to be honest, that I thought I couldn't do. So some of the things that I've done, that when people say, how did you do it? I made a list so I could remember. So first, I graduated from high school. I was number eight in my class. I was voted most likely to succeed, and I had a two-year-old son at the time. I graduated magna cum laude from the University of Memphis, and I was Miss University of Memphis. And I want, as you listen, I want you to please know that I'm not bragging about any of the things that I've accomplished. I'm stating them because I want whoever is on here, whoever is listening, to know what is possible. What is possible? I, I did it. 
I did these, I've done these things and I want to help other people to do them too. So graduated from college, Miss University of Memphis, and I was a uh, magna cum laude. By that time, my son was six years old. So I did that with him there. I became a marketing manager for the Memphis Grizzlies and I actually was the first marketing manager for the Memphis Grizzlies. Uh, they had managers, marketing managers when they were in Vancouver, Canada. When they came to Memphis, I was the first one. Uh, I got my MBA while I was working at the Memphis Grizzlies. Um, and that was, a, that was challenging. We'll talk about that later. Um, I paid off my truck. I've owned two, two uh, Lexus trucks. I paid off one in six months. I paid the other off in three months. Um, I bought a house. When I was 22, bought my first house when I was 22. I wrote, I published my book. And again, the things that I'm talking about are the things that people say, how do you do it? Or how did you do it? These are the questions that I get asked and it's because of these things. I started my own business. I started a nonprofit. I started a speaking business. Um, I, through the nonprofit, I've been able to get major sponsorships for uh, our events. I survived being a single mom. Anybody who's a single mom on there, on here, and really knows how hard it is. I survived that. Single mom to a son. Um, let's see. Other questions I get: How I progressed in my career to making nearly six figures. Um, when I was when in my last corporate job, people ask me all the time, "How did I leave corporate America um, and made the the leap of faith to start my own businesses?" Uh, how did I handle becoming a grandmother when I was 34 years old? Uh, how did I start my blog? People ask me all the time too, um, how did I leave bad relationships, including a marriage, which some people know about, some people don't, but some people have a hard time. Um, how did I overcome divorce? How did I deal with betrayal from friends and from family and from lack of support from people who are really, really close? And um, it has just been a lot. So those are a few of the things that I've gone through and that I've dealt with. And the reasons why people ask me, not a day has gone by that I have not gotten asked the question, how did you do it? And you might get those same questions too for different aspects of your life. But like I said, I'm very excited because I'm in a, a, in a good place, a really good place in my life right now, where before I said, well, I don't have time to think about it. I definitely don't have time to talk about it. All I have time to do is do it and get through it. But now I do have time to talk about it. And I want to talk about it because I see so many other people want to achieve some of the things that I've done and not knowing how. And so that's why uh, I'm doing this call or this uh, video right now because something that I know probably a lot of you are, are, are my friends on Facebook. So you know a lot of the things that I do, a lot about what I do. But part of uh, what I do is life coaching. And most people didn't know that because I only take on a few clients at a time and really, really try to focus with them and to help them to, to be successful. So I'm at a place right now where I can take on some new clients and I want to see people to, uh, see people achieve the things that they want to achieve. So, um, I am doing free sessions. I'm doing a few free sessions for whoever signs up in the next uh, 24 hours on my site and it's summerowens.com slash coach and um, it'll be a free coaching session just to see if I can help you um, and if you feel comfortable working with me so I'm really excited about that but every time I do a video like I said I like to leave with some actionable tips some things that you can take away whether you work with me uh, as a coach or even go to the site or not I want you to take away some um, some information that I think will be beneficial to you. And as always, I do it in the so now what format. Thank you, Sharon. I appreciate that. In the so now what format. So here we go. I'll say it real quick. Cool, Chris. It's summerwins.com slash coach. Let's set up a session. Um, S. S. So we're spelling so now what about moving forward, how you move forward. And in this case, it's about how I've been able to to uh, to do what I said I've done, answer the question that I get asked all the time, which is how did I do it or how do I do it? And the first um, first thing is is sacrifice. Sacrifice. What people don't know or don't see or don't realize is all the sacrifice that I've made. 
all the sacrifices that I have made um, when people are partying or just sitting up talking on the phone or laying or resting. I'm not. So I've made sacrifices from the time that I was, it's probably even before, but especially since I was 15 years old, I've made sacrifices. And that is how I've achieved the things that I've achieved. achieved. Uh, the O is open. I stay open to advice and I stay open to possibilities. I never limit myself to um, what people think I can do. And I don't even limit myself to what I think I can do because I leave myself open to uh, realizing I really can do anything. It's just a question of figuring out how. And that's why I'm doing what I'm doing now to help people figure out their how. And is network. I, you follow me, you see I'm out there. And uh, like some of you on here too, <laughs> I'm out there because I like to get to know people. And I've been this way even though I'm shy. And most people are surprised to hear that, but I am a shy person. But I don't let my shyness keep me from meeting people and doing things and talking to people and, and making things happen. So networking has been huge for me. And since I was 15, I've gotten to know people. And people who really know me know that not only do I get to know people, but I hold on to relationships. I hold on to relationships. Those relationships have have done amazing things for me. People that I met all the way back in high school or even in college, how they have helped me um, in my career to progress. Even a couple of the jobs that I've gotten, I know have been the benefit of the relationships that I've made, some networking I've taken advantage of. The next O is opportunities. I think for a lot of us, we are, we don't even realize when opportunities are before us. Um, and I've been, I think, really, really blessed because I feel like I can recognize opportunities, even the smallest opportunities. And a lot of times they turn into huge opportunities. And I feel like uh, God has put me in a position and why I'm doing what I'm doing now, and even offering the coaching that I'm doing now, it's an opportunity. It is an opportunity. And some people will take advantage of it. Some people won't. But that's the same with every opportunity that is out there. Some people will recognize it as an opportunity and some people won't. So how I have, again, answering the question, how did I do it or how do I do it? I recognize opportunities. And not only do I recognize them, I take advantage of them. The W is work. And obviously, I put in work. Obviously, obviously, I put in work. And if you are willing to put in the work, you can make it happen too. The next W is willpower. It doesn't matter. Um, it doesn't matter how many times you say you want it. If you don't demonstrate that you really want it, you won't make it happen. If you don't have the willpower, I have had the willpower. Every goal that I've set for myself, I have wanted it bad enough to put in the work and make the investment to make it happen. Investments of my time, investments of my money to make it happen. The H is for hard. And um, and what that means is it will be hard. It will be hard if you go into the situation knowing that this is the thing that you want to accomplish and it's going to be hard. You won't be surprised and so ready to give up when you find out it's hard. So everything I listed, buying my house, paying off my car, uh, going through a divorce, uh, raising my son, I mean, getting my MBA, every bit of it has been hard. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the love. Every bit of it has been hard. But the key is, I knew it was going to be hard. I knew it was going to be hard. I recognized that going into it. So when I found out it was hard and felt just how hard it was, I wasn't ready to throw in the towel. So notice it's going to be hard. The A is a big one. And it is accountability. It's accountability for every Thing that I've done, everything that I've accomplished, every mistake that I've made, I have been accountable for my actions. You have to be accountable for your actions too. And you also have to hold other people accountable accountable for theirs. So accountability. Last but not least, uh, and definitely not least, is the T. And we spell, we just spell so now what how you move forward. The T is for time. And I look at time like this. It's not just about time because I think time is of the essence and when you a lot of times I think we waste time and I'm guilty because I waste I've wasted time I waste time now sometimes but time is of the essence you put it off and you're just wasting time if somebody on here probably wants to go back to school wants to get another degree or get that first degree 
this time next year, you'll be thinking about the same thing. I should have gone to school. Well, if you would have started, then you would be a year into it already. So it's about time. You don't have time to waste. If you really want to make things happen, stop wasting time. And then the other way I look at time is time management. Because we all have the same 24 hours in a day. And some of us just make a whole lot more happen in that 24 hours. And why? It's because we know how to manage our time. So that's it. So now what? And again, I'm just excited because uh, I now have a little more time to offer to help other people to uh, achieve their goals. So I've been blessed in a beautifully challenging way to have gone through a whole lot in my life personally and professionally. I've had a lot of challenges and I've had a lot of successes and I've learned a whole lot along the way. And so now I'm ready to help you. So if you're interested in possibly working with me, like I said, check out my site. It's summerwins.com slash coach. And um, I'm doing coaching and mentoring. So now every time somebody asks me, how did I do it? Like set up a time, let's talk. Set up a time and let's talk. And I'll show you, I'll tell you exactly how I did it. And I can tell you exactly how you can do it. And it can be anything. Because like I said, I believe I can do anything. And I know that anybody else can do anything too. It's just a matter of understanding how to deal with life. And all the challenges that come with life so that you can make those things happen. So again, I'll actually I'll put the link here if anybody is interested. Um there it is. If anybody is interested, and again, I'm just excited because I get asked the question all the time and I'm ready to answer it. I just don't have the time one-on-one -on -one every single day to answer the question. So I've set it up to formally do it and to formally help people. And I'm ready to help, to, to help people stop making excuses and get over themselves and get over their challenges and start making some things happen. And that's what So What is all about. It's saying, so what to the challenges? So now what? Let's get moving and making it happen. So hopefully some of you will sign up. If, if this is doesn't seem like something for you, um, I bet you know somebody else who might be interested. So um, please share this video and um, and encourage them to reach out too and see if they might be interested in talking to me and working with me and um, and and using me to help make their dreams come true. I made mine come true and I'm doing it every day. I still have lots and lots of goals and um, and I'm working towards mine. I want to help you work towards yours too. Have a good day. Oh, by the way, for um, my folks here. In Memphis, that may not have power. I'm blessed because I do. And if you need any help, um, let me know because I can help you. Um, and, um, and for those people who are going to the sundresses and linen party, I'll see you there. Um, because I know how to manage my time. I know how to have fun. And I know how to make things happen. So, hey, you can do it too. Hopefully, hopefully uh, some of you will sign up. Like I said, it's a free coaching session. So, let's just see. Let's just see if it might work. And again, share with somebody else. Have a beautiful day and thanks for joining. Look, I'm still on. I'm trying to close it out. Thanks, Chris. Okay, so there are problems.